Despite the fate of retail pet stores in Encinitas was in the hands of the city council tonight, they voted on a proposal designed to keep puppy mill pets out of stores. Fox 5's Christina Denziel is live in Encinitas with the decision. Christina. Well, that's right, Kathleen. It was a unanimous decision, and uh, I should point out that Encinitas does have four businesses that offer animal adoption, including Petco and the Rancho Humane Society, but supporters of this particular ban said that they wanted this issue to be cleared up before it became a real problem for the city of Encinitas. <laughs> Cheers at the Encinitas City Council Wednesday night after a unanimous vote by the city council on an ordinance to ban the sale of pets from puppy mills. Before public hearing got underway, members of the city council announced they had all received hundreds of emails in support of the ban of retail dogs and cats, with the mayor chiming in saying it's the largest response she's seen during her time in office. Hundreds of emails. <laughs> you blew up my email inbox, in fact, so the IT department can have to correct that. As public hearing began, the same notion was heard time and time again. Supporters of the ban say pets are members of the family, and commercial breeders cannot be trusted. We do this because we care, and we all have a moral duty to protect innocent animals. The citizens of Encinitas have the right to acquire a pet, pet that is free of such possible cruelty. Only one speaker voiced his opposing views on the ban, saying this is simply not an issue, as there is no selling of retail pets in the city of Encinitas. There is a reason why Encinitas does not have a puppy mill ordinance. It's because the problem is not here. When someone decides that they do want to sell breeder puppies, these people will rightly arise. Supporters disagreed. We're looking at this as if it's sort of like a cancer and it's spreading. These people who keep coming into these cities and opening as many stores as they can, I'm afraid that Encinitas could be next. In April, the San Marcos City Council voted to approve a temporary ban of pet stores within its city. Oceanside did the same earlier this year. San Diego and Chula Vista have also approved similar bans. Now, pet stores can still open up shop here in Encinitas, but they need to be able to prove that they are getting their dogs and cats from either uh, shelters or humane societies. For now, we're live in Encinitas. Kathleen. Seems like the trend for the future. All right. Thanks to our Christine.